Welcome back guys. This is unfinished Kama Kama Ida. This is the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters. Do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms. Today we're talking about the challenges that the youths are facing in this generation, which takes us to our next question. Do you think the youths are gaining pressure from society to make it? Let me know what you think in the comment section. <laughs> ndio inakuwa inakuwa kama brainwash eh wame, wame tu danganya sana tuna move tu na pressure yao hivi hivi nasema always try to be you try to do you in each and every time yeah definitely manze all the time say like tseme right now if you maybe walk from like here to uko downtown you will find maybe a young guy driving or am a young girl driving a very big car unaona eh na we manze unangangana manze unashinwa rada ni gani unapata uko mtaani there are people who depend on us unaona uh, people who we should be taking care of tseme our parents who they have taken care of us from when we were little kuna time inafika especially when we are growing old we feel like we need to start taking care of them but napata ends as in, as the meat bad so a lot of pressure um all the time <laughs> uh youths are like a better life akuna mse anataka ku struggle akuna mse anataka kuamka na kukosa tu kitu kufanya kila siku ndio so yeah um i think so yes yeah kwanza generation yetu sana because si tume grow kwa situation ya yeah. i mean kwa generation pali there's too much a lot of social media so so okay una, una, una life you are too ingine vile wana live and you want to be that way so so okay una, like you can't be that type of a person una feel ni kama your life is not correct ama haiendi hivyo and like generation ya our parents and our big sisters kuna a lot of there's a big difference kwa hizo mbili but anywho <laughs> if you look back ile time ya um, maandamano pale in uh, ex tulikuwa tume pressure hawa say to do like to bring more services into uh, mashinani unakuta for example MP wenu anaenda anafanya maendeleo place nyingine baada ya kuja invest huko kwenu unaona so through our voice and through our strength we can pressurize the government even the other people it depends it may, it, it might be good it might be bad depending on Juneza kwa I mean mwana rafiki yangu amesoma so mimi nasema jamaa amesoma that's nice but we amefanya hivi so ndakunaona na depend the society are not uh, supporting the youth in terms of making them into their lives because uh, and also another thing is that the society is that there is a certain uh, making it that it is expected let's say for example mtu anataka kuwa mtu wa lazima asome ndio akuwa ame make it like also from the society that is the perspective but you never know that also uh, somebody can make it in life from another uh, kwa kitu kingine tofauti rather than masomo let's say talent let's say business and such stuff so if the society will be able to understand that and also support the youth and everyone from what he is doing if a person is a dancer let him dance and support him he will go far if a person is a footballer support him accept it I'm not saying that ah this person is a footballer cannot make it from the society or we say this, this person is a dancer dancing and alliance to akikuwa uchi ataenda wapi so we are supposed to take it support this guy and then we move on yeah we've talked with a lot of people na inawafanyikia kwao pia na i know for some people in our affect sana but uh, thank god mimi sio ni kimi ni affect vile but uh, yeah it happens and it's it's real it's very real currently tuko kwa safe space tuko kwa dunia yenyewe unajua whatever you do is about you so, there are different ways of making it there are the different ways one can make it kuna making it in career wise kuna making it kwa society kuna making it in terms of money in terms of talent there are different ways of making it now from society society again it matters where what your society is i think that also matters because if my society is of people who are who have not made it na zapata pressure ya ku make it because they have not made it na kama ni from people who have made it unaona naza nini inaza ni demean because again kama kuna unfair competition ina demean mse lakini kama there is competition na the will the society that encourages you to continue pursuing whatever you want to pursue 
I believe it's good. Uh, Not even society from parents. Parents, but see what they. Kama parents wako kusupport you, hauta kuwa under a lot of pressure. But society, inaona ka youth, diwa nafaku kwenyesha njia. Jumosto wana tuitanga leaders of tomorrow. So nona, wanataka tikuwe better in life, though maybe, maybe, tusiangushe iyo slogan ya sisi ndio yudhu wa kesho. Yeah. Sababu isa hizi most of the youths, isa hizi iteme isa hizi kibli na evolve, most of the, most young people, de wana kuwa rich. Nona? So, wana kuwa, wana kuwa na do, and they are young, so kila msia na jaribu kufika yu place, enye, ata ya na kuwa na yu do. So, unapata, anafanya some things, de wa, aji please, eh, na please wengine. The youths do get a lot of pressure from friends, parents, and I think society at large. But we tend to forget that everyone has their own time to make it. We have people who made it in their 20s and they died in their 30s. We have people who made it in their 40s and are still making it. I think that everyone should just move at their own pace. No need for pressure. Which takes us to our last question. What advice would you give to a struggling youth? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, to every struggling youth out there, keep up the faith, manze. don't stop. Manze. You start failing only when you stop trying, so keep trying. Manze. Na utapata, can you not die? Manze, I say, I sing a crime. Drugs, drugs. <laughs> I book a drugs man they are still lost. Like any um gonna like him. Advice I'm gonna I keep on go push. Yeah, yeah. Um as you give up. Yeah. Everybody and I go through something. So usif kin you epic yako, but can you una decide go mka kitanda and you do? and then I determine who you are going to be. Okay, I'm going to say that you drugs, then it's the path where you are going to So, Julie, I'm going to destroy it, and I'm going to kill it. So, every person is going to be a good person. to God, and let's connect with good friends. Like, to share reality, whereby, you are in wrong. Before you fight, like, also, Pia, before you choose kitu, before you make a choice, angalia mbele ya yu choice you make. Kama it's something that is going to help you, ama kitu itakuja kuku, devalue. So, yeah. One thing I can tell is that, change your group. My father used to tell me, show me your friends, I'll show you your behavior. It tells me your behavior. So if I have, um, if my friends are bad, or doing bad stuff, definitely I'll become one. Even, let me ask you a question. Police aki kuja, after um, criminal. So I'm going to say that my mother is a bestie that I'm going to be a bestie that I'm going to be a bestie that I'm going to be a group, right? Does it mean that you have participated? Apana. But what, what it means is that because you are in that group, eh? you what what I could judge you still uh, do those activities. So kuna ile uh, methali na semanga panya ya uh, mtegu wa panya ushika wenye walikuemo na wasikuemo. Yeah. Yuwa nini? For example, nenda na watu wana drink alcohol, mtu wana kwambia, eh, shika kapafu, ama take this, nona. But ukiwaka na tajiri, tajiri si lazima tia kupe pesa. He gives you the norms on how to get the money, nona. So, it's like that. Siku manisha tiju natembeanga na president at Ntakua president. And I'll pay to the tips and the norms, do's and don'ts. Zen utafa ufanya ama yen utafanya. Don't die, Daisha was jue. Siata Peter, sin you quelli. My advice. Uh, I'm also a struggling youth. I'm, I'm also supposed to be given that advice. But I, what I can say is that I can advise myself and also advise them. So we struggle. We need that advice. To to focus to TSNA BD and we are going to make it. Prayers, something which is very, very useful and very good. Let's pray, let's work hard. You have to be content with where you are. Because uh, 
kwanza kuwe content kwanza utosheke mali nifika what's that to need to have that peace that kind of peace and then you just you start looking for someone one thing that i've always been doing is that when i find myself that uh, i haven't accomplished what i wanted to accomplish i just look for a group or i look for a person who has already accomplished that and then i learn from them i learn how they were able to make it in what i wanted to make so that is one show we that is one show we and also pray to god i'm a believer <laughs> so you just pray to god our side up with you and then uh, i believe everything will be okay for instance the problems problem kubwa nyewe on our face ni kama ni mental challenges mental challenges lead us to drugs lead us to a lot of stuff which are unnecessary on about uh, there's this discussion that we usually have that we should be sharing our problems with our safe space again it is wrong it's not wrong okay it, it's whatever works for you sometimes you are sharing with your safe space but people are not nobody is to be trusted nowadays unapata maybe unapata waliambia mse shida yako maybe ulilalanja jana alafu your status on the status unaona at sleeping hungry <laughs> with the joint and two more unaona so i believe that once we discover that every solution you go in the bible na every solution is found in god against tutakuwa poa tutakuwa blind to peer pressure blind to all influence blind to the all evils of the society na we will make it afa uh, kok struggle hata mimi na struggle to struggle wote eh to struggle idu ne itaki makasiriko struggle hata wewe ndio upate kio unahitaji allah you just be you ah uh, hiyo ingine atafakari My advice to any struggling youth is that you should be yourself, have the right kind of influence. Always follow your instincts and when going through something tough, do what works for you, be it talking to somebody, praying, going to church, going out for a vacation, whatever it means that you have to do so that your mental health is not at stake. Always make it a priority. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. I am your host SK Gitonga now to our comments. Now I check it. See ya.